Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana channel, my name is Shanks and today we're gonna continue with the evil campaign in the Shadow and Flame mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 1.06 with the Mordor army. Southern Ithilien marks the borders of the lands of Gondor and those of the Haradrim, a contested realm where all are in danger. Oh yeah, Christopher Lee, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, don't touch my more kills. Remove them from this region entirely. They're precious forbidden pool. Make it just another pile of rocks. The orcs have a camp in the north. Go there and take control of it. Up you dogs and out! We've meant to kill a bird. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look our troll army guys. Look how many Muma kills we got. Can we place them on top of the Muma kills? The answer is yeah, we can do that. That's great. Okay. More of them? Aradrim warriors. You guys get mounted on the Muma kills. So it's gonna be like in the films. That's what I like to see. I think we have a little bit too many of these Haradrims now. Once they are all mounted, we can also send the other ones uh, to die, you know? Okay, we have two battalions of them. We don't need we don't really need that. Let's buy the camp. So we have three battalions actually. Which is a bit too much. We can try to get them to this camp, but I believe that's not gonna be possible. And look at the monsters we got. Holy quacamole. Okay. So Oh look. They're attacking. They're attacking. I'm I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Oh, many, many ranges on the field, but that's fine. We can build now some slaughterhouses. We have almost no money. We need to get this camp. Our heroes, you know what we can do? We can get them mounted on the black horses to be a bit more mobile, you know? Okay, so let's buy this lumber mill. There are a bunch of trees around. Unfortunately, every single troll loses their weapons when they reach the next mission. Hey, hey, hey. Stop attacking me like that. Look, look, this Mumma kid is charging. Oh, I'm happy that there is no friendly fire in this game. Otherwise, our heroes would be dead by now. Our heroes can handle the situation, not a big deal. And we need to wait a little bit now for the money. I want to give them trees, but I don't want to lose all the trees around the Lamer Mill too. And once again, I'm kind of disappointed that they can't keep the trees in their hands once the mission is finished. So as long as there are no tower guards around, we can handle this, not a big problem. Our heroes, however, they feel a bit squishy. So we, we might be forced to peel back now. Look, this troll army, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Especially Mouth of Sauron is very squishy. I mean, they are pretty much the same. Uvat is a bit tankier. So we have a bit more money now. We can invest the money immediately into some more. Let's trample. Nice. Can he drive? Can he trample? Oh yeah, he can trample. One-shotting everything on his way. That's the power of Muma kills in this game. So we need to get some towers on the field. Okay. And also the Haradrims on top of the Mumma Kill are doing such a great job. And that's the downside of this mod, because there is no fire in this mod, right? And without fire, it's really challenging to kill monsters like Mumma Kills. To burst them down fast enough. Imagine in a normal actual game, 1v1, multiplayer game. You have like this many Mumma Kills from your open and you need to kill. Look how long it's gonna take you to destroy them, to kill them. We need to peel back now with the heroes, I don't wanna lose them. What is the mission? Destroy the Gondor camp, find and destroy the Forbidden Pool. And bonus, take the control or command of the Orc camp to the north. They are chasing us, but it's fine. They won't be able to make it to our uh, heroes because there are many, many Muma kills and or trolls they have to deal with first. Okay, so we, we need to build some more towers. If eight power points collected, can we do something with that? The answer is yeah. Call the horde, uh, fuel the fires. I mean, I want to get scavenger because, you know, I feel like that, that's more consistently. You will get money every time you kill stuff. And in the mission, in the heart campaign, you will kill a lot of units. Look, plus eight, 
every time you kill a soldier plus eat every time you kill a Gonda sword uh, Gonda archer battalion so we need to peel back now our heroes they want to fight but they need to chill a little bit more because they are taking way too much damage let's try to save the Mumma kill normal movement speed of a Mumma kill is very slow we get 15 for each kill on the uh, ranger battalion which is huge by the way okay so we saved the Mumma kill that's nice He's only level 1, but it's fine, because once he makes it to the next mission, he will be full health anyway, right? Look how tanky it is. Like, it's one Mumma kill only. Imagine us moving out with every single Mumma kill that we get. It would be almost impossible to deal for the opponent. Not only in the campaign, but also in the actual games. That's why, I guess, that's why you are limited to only 4 of them. Let's see the power of the Mumma kill now. Charge, 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 charge. Okay, this one is gonna die though. This one is gonna die, but it's fine. We will lose only one of them, but he did his job, you know? He killed so much. But even now, when he's die, die, uh, when he's falling on the ground, he will also kill so much. Now we can move, out, move on. Let's try to destroy this camp and also get dismounted with our heroes. This way they won't be charging too fast, you know? Okay. Imagine playing Evil Campaign with the Hobbit song in the background. That's what, I, what you like to see. So we need to kill these rangers. They are outranging our slaughterhouses and also the towers. Towers are not by far as not powerful in this game as they are in normal BFMU1. Can we make it to the spot? We can also use Devastation and also use Industry at the same time. Just to make sure we have a lot, enough money. We might be forced to retreat with the Mumma kill. He's taking way too much damage. And the annoying thing about the... Look at this army, dude. Uh, and the annoying thing about the rangers is that they are getting invisible and they are around the trees. Look at this devastation power what he got. Like monsters only, they are charging in, they are destroying everything. I don't need to do anything now because they can automatically kill everything on their way. That's how powerful Mordor can be. And that is, you know, that is a reason why Saruman is saying, or what, uh, why Theoden is saying, what can man do against such a reckless aid, even though he was saying that about Isengard. But there is a reason why Saruman wanted to be a dude and a friend of Sauron, you know what I'm saying? Because he knew how powerful Sauron can be. And I gotta be honest, I feel like they had the chance to win the fight multiple times. But they didn't coordinate together. Like, Isengard was trying to solo Rohan and Mordor was trying to solo Rohan. Imagine if Mordor would be sending some help to Isengard at the first place, right? When it comes to invade... Uh, when it comes to invade uh, the Helm's Deep. But he didn't do anything like that. So with that being said, imagine, you know, the Witch King joining the army from Isengard in the Helm's Deep. The Witch King and all the nine Nazgûls, you know? Maybe some trolls too. Imagine the combination of Urukai with trolls, catapults from the Moro faction. It will be impossible to defend for the good part, you know? It's almost impossible. Okay, we have so much money now, we can definitely start making some units. Uh, Mumma kills, it's kind of pointless because, let's be honest, Mumma kills are limited to 4, so we can't recruit more than that. So Mumma kill pen would be a waste of money and a spot of our base. But a troll cage isn't. So troll cage, maybe we get the chance this time to recruit some drama trolls. Would be nice to have some drama trolls fighting for us. There is Faramir and uh, some ranges around, but it's fine. Okay, we are in a good spot now. We can play a bit more patiently, wait for the troll cage to come up, and also the orc pits. Maybe we get the chance to uh, to purchase the fighter upgrade or something. Yeah, we have the chance. But first of all, we need to build some archers. And unlike in the normal uh, games, in the skirmish games, you are not able to buy yourself the upgrade this time. You need to get some units to passively level up the building to level 2 and level 3, which is needed for the barbed arrows for level 2 and also the banner carrier for level 2. The Mordo Urukai are pretty much like the Black Orcs from the Battle for Middle-earth 2, the Rise of the Witch King. Unfortunately, we are not able to uh, get a Drama Troll on the field just yet. That's why it's kind of pointless now to get the fire. Because we have no units. Did we? No, we didn't get it yet. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get mounted with these guys. I can't control this, even though it's the same color like us, but it's like a light camp. And we need to reach to this camp first of all before we can control that. The enemy. Look at this. At the bottom left side of your screen, you see Faramir. 
at the Forbidden Pool. And I think that's our goal, right? We need to just destroy, yeah, destroy the Forbidden Pool. So, we can do that. But first of all, uh, let's send our heroes to this spot. Let's make some trolls in the meantime. We have not lo lost any any single unit but the uh, Haradrams at, at the start of the game. The three of them, we were sacrificing to make some room for the other units, pretty much. That's it. Okay, now we have reached the spot. That's nice. Okay, so we can also get some trolls from this one. No, it's not possible. Now we have a lot of units we don't really need. And we can also try to sacrifice them to Faramir and the Hobbits. I like the, you know, I've played many, many mods. I've played many, many campaigns, many, many different uh, BFME custom maps. But the original BFME 1 campaign, in my opinion, is the best. You can let me know in the comment section down below what do you think is the best. I don't like the BFME 2 and the Rise of the Witch King campaign nearly as much as I like the BFME 1. I mean, the reason is not because of the games are bad or something, but because of the BFME 1 is being related, you know, pretty much like a remake of the films. You replay the entire film trilogy, you know? Which makes it so un unbelievably amazing. Especially for somebody who is in love with a Lord of the Ring stuff. And let's be real, in my opinion, still Lord of the Ring is gonna be a film everybody, everybody should be watching in his life, even the new generation growing up. And once my daughter is old enough, I will definitely watch also Lord of the Rings with her. She doesn't... Uh, she has to watch it. And I'm pretty sure because she's my daughter, she's gonna also enjoy it. Okay, look our army. Holy guacamole. Let's let's move on. I think uh, we don't... Should, we shouldn't waste too much time. And go just inside the jeans immediately. Okay. Our heroes are... Oh my, what is this damage? Did he use one arrow or something? Someone ch chunked Mouth of Sauron with a single shot. But the revenge is coming. The Muma kills are charging. They are thirsty for man flesh. Amazing. Okay. Now the Forbidden Pool is going to be our target. And it should be just taken down in a single shot. It's tanky, but it's not tanky enough. Did we kill Faramir? I can't even see him on the, on the map. Again, maybe... The, wait, I can use Palantir. Palanty, by the way, gives you vision. You are also able to see the stealth units. Okay, that's great. And the forbidden pool from Gondo, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be taken down. It's one ranger still shooting at us, but it's, it's going to die now to the Haradrim sort of after moment. Victory. victory is at end. And Victory's screen is the best screen you can actually get. Evil shall rule Middle Earth. Battle statistic. That was a pretty short one, but we actually were able to finish. Mouth of Sauron killed in total 30 units, <laughs> 23 for Uwata, and the you know the MVP of the campaign so far with the Moro faction is the Moro Muma kill. You can also rename this one. Let's ca call this Monster Kill. No, instead of Muma kill, Monster Kill, because he's our MVP. He killed 41 by far. Uh, way more than anybody else. The mountain trolls, some of them didn't kill anything, even though they were able to <laughs> live complete uh, complete missions, two of them. But anyways, guys, GG well played. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. I will see you in the next video. I could potentially record also two missions at the same time, but remember, these videos are being recorded in 4K resolution. That means the longer the video is, the larger the size is going to be. It's gonna take me ages to upload on the YouTube channel. That's why I'm, I'm fine when the videos are, you know, slightly below 20 minute mark. And I will see you tomorrow with the next mission in the evil campaign for the Shadow and Flame mod. Until then, keep hitting like a truck and also stay beyond standards. Peace.